Today we'll be doing a brief overview of Cult of Golgotha. This is written by Craig Williams and published by Anathema Publishing. Uh, this book is an interesting read. It covers a lot of, as the author states, uh, doorways into different occult views. And it recently became unavailable for purchase off their website. So hopefully you got a copy um, when it was still up there. This is number 445, sorry, 443. And it came out in 2018, limited to 700 copies. It's a quote from Exodus. It's a lot of a lot of art throughout the book. And of course, this is the table of contents. I'm not really going to be saying anything new about this book that hasn't been said before. But like my other videos, it's to give you more of an overview of what this book contains, both the subject matter as well as uh, the actual artwork that's scattered throughout. So if those of you don't know, Craig Williams is a Gnostic bishop. Uh, this book deals with everything uh, having to do with the differences of the microcosm versus, you know, the physical and uh, versus the macrocosm or the universe, more or less. Um, the concept also includes everything has a spiritual energy and it includes Vudan, which is a West African Haitian religion, focuses focusing on philosophy, medicine, justice, and religion in general. Some other key concepts are tantric physics. And this is something that is a Sanskrit term meaning loom, weave, or system. So it's kind of a system of the ethereal and physical how it all connects, and this has very deep roots in um, yeah, necromancy. And while Cult of Golgotha, the title of Golgotha itself, is uh, the place of the skull in the Bible, Golgotha, in this case, is someone who claims to have the ability to exchange knowledge with dead spirits, to get gnosis or knowledge from the other side. And uh, again, that's very common with necromatic sorcery or pagan sacramental Gnosticism. Uh, now, Craig does mention in the book that he does reject the idea or the systems of Christian, Christian salvation, the concepts of sin or savior, uh, but he does also believe in alternate universes, specifically universe B and I believe Z are most commonly mentioned in this text. Uh, as I mentioned briefly, each chapter is said to be a doorway of occult expressions in various systems of Golgotha cults. And again, he emphasizes the importance of a student-teacher relationship or Elijah-Elisha connection to uphold traditions but push into uncharted territories. One of the biggest themes that you'll also see throughout this book is the refuting of systems of control. Um, he equates these to organized religion, to governments, to technology specifically is an ongoing theme. Uh, theory and physics, which is the chapter that I'm on right now, just kind of flipping through it, trying to find some of the art, brings in the idea of unidentified flying objects or UFOs. And the claim throughout the book, or at least in that chapter back there, is that UFOs aren't actually mechanical, but our reliance on technology makes us think so. But it's actually uh, some wisdom from beyond that is actually what we're experiencing. I'm actually going to flip to the end here. I've lost my tripod again. And uh, look at some of the art there, just to kind of wrap it up. Uh, 
Uh, again, this this text is interesting. It's a it's a good read. Um, you know, I don't believe in it personally, but it's a good um, exercise in kind of seeing how other people believe or think. And I'm not looking to change my beliefs and my systems, but it's good to see how other people think to kind of understand them and see where they're coming from. I think we could use a little bit more of that in the world. So that's Cults of Golgotha. Um, again, there's more thorough reviews, I'm sure. But this is kind of give you an overview of the book. And uh, hopefully do some more videos soon. Thanks.